Can you blast the ore mound now? We now have all the artifacts we need to fulfill our plan. But the barrier was created by 12 magicians. There are not enough magicians in the circle of water to control the powerful energies and to guide them onto the right course. What can we do? I'm aware that you've already done much for our community. We owe you greatly, but in the interest of all the inhabitants of the colony, I need to ask one more favor of you. One more favor? Yes. Go to the old camp and try to win some of the magicians of the Circle of Fire for our cause. Magicians of Fire? Why should they want to give up their easy life? The destruction of the barrier would rob them of their powerful position. That is the exact reason why you must accomplish this mission. You know people from all the camps of the colony. Remind the magicians of fire of the old times, when we studied the arts of magic together. All right then, I'll try to convince the magicians of fire, but I can't promise anything. It seems nearly impossible to me. You must try. If you do not succeed in this, there is only one other, just one... One what? Forget it. You must succeed. Here, take this magic rune. Hand it over to Coristo, the High Magician of the Circle of Fire, as a sign of our trust. With this, he can teleport into this room without passing the guards anytime he wants. I hope that it will convince our former friends of our good intentions. May you return in one piece? There was a time when I led a very different life. I was one of the best generals of this country. I've spent my whole life fighting for my country. But the nobles didn't like me because the king listened to my advice. And they knew I posed a threat to their dirty business. I hadn't counted on their insidiousness. They used the king's wife to get me. I was blamed for her pointless murder. King Robar had no other choice. The services I had rendered my country saved me from the gallows, but they robbed me of my freedom. One day I'll be free again, then I shall return and take revenge. I shall have my revenge. You're the boss of the mercenaries, aren't you? That's right, boy. Which task do the mage's mercenaries have? Very simple. Protect the ore protect the mage. Sometimes the mages have a special task for one of them. Sweat, man, come over here. You okay? I'm hiding away here. I don't care for the trash those guards are pulling off. But I've taken some pretty good stuff from the arsenal. If you need a weapon, just let me know. Show me what you have.
Show me more about how to handle that old cost just. Let's start now. Right. Your shots will be more accurate and straight if you bend your knees when firing. You'll have to learn to judge what speed your target's moving at. Fire your ball into the moving target's path to hit it and slow it down. If there's more than one target, don't waste any time. Nail them all down one after the other with calculated shots. That's it. I've taught you all I know. Hello, Diego. What's the meaning of all this hide-and-seek business? Haven't you heard? Heard what? The old mine caved in. The fire mages were assassinated, and there are plans to raid the free mine. What? What are you talking about? How could the old mine cave in? One of the diggers who survived it told us that they were digging, and they hit an underground river on the bottom level. When the water gushed into the mine, one of the supports broke, and the entire upper section collapsed. Only a handful of people managed to escape from the mine. Why are the fire mages dead? That's a long story. Just tell me about it. It's not the first long story I've had to listen to. Well then... Luckily, I was in the Ore Baron's house when they got the news that the mine had collapsed. Gomez was hopping mad when he heard about the accident, and he was afraid that his position could be at stake. Of course. Who controls the ore controls the colony as well. That's right. Since he has no source of income anymore, the goods from the outside world won't come in anymore either. Nobody will work for him if he doesn't get another source of income soon. And that's the reason for the raid on the free mine? To be honest, that's Gomez's only chance to maintain his power. Two hours ago, two dozen guards set out for the free mine. That's mad. I need to warn the new camp. Then you must hurry up. They'll have almost reached the free mine. But they never get through the fortifications of the new camp. They don't need to get through them. A few months ago, they found a path that leads over the mountains and right to the free mine, and nobody else knows about it. I've seen the guards in front of the locked gates. Stay away from them. They'll attack anybody approaching the camp. They are afraid of somebody avenging the raid on the free mine. But what happened to the fire mages? Cristo and the other mages were the only people in the camp to remain rational. They forbade the raid and demanded a settlement with the two other camps. They forbade Gomez to raid the free mine? Well, yes. Cristo and the others shouldn't have been so self-confident. 
Gomez didn't trust them anymore and had them perfidiously assassinated. What are you and Milton going to do now? We'll stay here for a while to warn some more friends so they don't bump straight into the guards. But you could do us a favor. Consider it done. Tell me what you want. Look out for Lester and Gorn. They need to know what happened here. Tell them that the four of us will meet at the same place as always. If I see them before you do, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting point. Thanks, my friend. You really seem to be an all right guy. Go now. We'll meet again later. Take care. It's the traitor in our midst. Ha! And we called you a guard. Hold on. What are you talking about, Bloodwin? So you're in cahoots with the new camp, huh? No, wait. I'm still... Guess you must have thought you could go on like that forever. Stop this nonsense. Traitors like you must die. Die, traitor! <laughs> You'll be very sorry for that. They... They are all dead, all dead! I couldn't help them, I was... was not there, I... Calm down, Milton. I've already met Diego on the other side of the camp. Good. Then you know. What did Diego say? If I can find Gorn and Lester, I'll warn them and send them to your meeting place. Good luck and take care. Hello. I met Gorn. Really? Where? by the old ruined monastery by the sea. The two of us searched it for treasures. I'm sure he'll tell me all about it when we meet again. Lester and I took out the mountain fort. He told me about it. Apparently, you can be trusted. Where have the four of you been meeting so far? Oh, here and there. We meet in a lot of different places. See you later. Traitor? To think we let a thing like you join the guards. Bah! Hey, what are you talking about, Fletcher? You're in with that new camp scum, aren't you? Hold on. I guess you must have thought we wouldn't figure it out, huh? Ho, oh, hold your horses. No, you hold on. Hold on to your head, cause you're going to be missing it soon. Die, traitor!
You won't have much time to be sorry for it. You'll be sorry for that. You'll be s- You'll be sorry for that. What are you doing here? Don't often get visitors up here. <laughs> Very clever of you to find my hiding place. What are you doing here? Oh, I'm fed up with the old camp. I had trouble with Gomez's folks. That was some time ago. I guess nobody remembers that now. But I'm staying here. There's too many blockheads running about in the old camp for my liking. Awaken! How can I re- Master Eber? How are you doing? Hey, what are you doing here? The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. So? All the magicians of fire are dead. Gomez had them assassinated. It won't be easy to straighten that out. I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. They want a meeting at the usual place. It was about time! What happens now? I'm gonna stay here a bit longer to study the old books. Uh, I don't understand. Master E. Berrien used to say, a student tries to move things with his hands and feet. The master moves them with his spiritual powers. Okay, okay, I get the point. Take care. Thank you. I'll be on my way now. May the sleeper protect you.
I'm glad you returned. Something terrible has happened. Let me guess, the free mine has been assaulted by the guards from the old camp. Nobody saw them coming? Hang on. How? But of course. You found out about it in the old camp. Gorn arrived here just before you did. What could have caused Gomez to dare to take such an aggressive step? He should be aware that such a heinous act can only provoke war. The old mine collapsed after water seeped in. Collapsed? Of course. Then the whole thing makes sense. Gomez has his back to the wall. He's more dangerous than ever. Now that he doesn't have anything left to lose, he'll do anything. Gomez has had all of the Magicians of Fire killed. Had them killed? Why in Beliar's name would he do a thing like that? They were against the attack on the Free Mine and opposed Gomez. Then we're all doomed. Without the other six Magicians, we'll never be able to control the concentrated power of the massive ore mound. But in spite of that, I thank you for passing this dangerous message on to me. When you sent me to the Magicians of Fire, you mentioned there was... somebody. Well, I had hoped we could make it without his help, but the way things are developing... Who is he? All right, all right. Many, many years ago. Give me the shortened version, please. Be patient. Well, when we, the Twelve Magicians, created the barrier back then, our magic powers were directed and controlled by a Thirteenth Magician. A Thirteenth Magician? I thought there were only Twelve. Most people who did not experience the early days of the colony believed that. This 13th magician was our leader. All this took place before we were divided into the circles of fire and water. But he left the old camp, which was once the only camp of the colony. Why did he leave the old camp? He started to investigate the invocation of undead and magical creatures. Gomez was not the only one who began to worry. Most of the other magicians opposed him as well, and his unholy deeds. What happened then? Unlike Gomez, he was no butcher, so he avoided the conflict and left. What is this 13th magician called? His name is Zardus. Hardly anybody remembers the old stories about him. The ones who do just call him the Necromancer. Where is this magician today? He lives in seclusion, in his tower, in the middle of the Orc land. That's just about the southernmost point of the colony. I'll make my way to Zardus and ask him for help. He's the only one that can help us now. If he knows no way out, or doesn't want to help us... He will. There is one other problem. A problem? Yes. Over the years, we've tried to get in touch with Zardus several times but it looks like he prefers to remain undisturbed. What does that mean? None of the messengers ever return from his tower. You'll have to find a way to get past his creatures. Looks like this is going to be interesting. How will I get past his creatures? If I knew that, I would tell you. I'd advise you to do some research in our library. Maybe you'll find something in the old books about the strengths and weaknesses of magically invoked creatures. I'll rummage through the library, and don't worry. I'll be back. I have been exiled from the old camp because I have helped you. You don't belong to the old camp any longer? Then I welcome you to our community. Does that mean the mercenaries will take me on? Talk to Lee. He'll see to it. Then come back to me. May you return in one piece? Hello! I met Diego and Milton in front of the old camp. That's good news. They want to meet you and Lester. At your usual rendezvous? Thanks. There's nothing more valuable than good friends in troubled times like these. You're almost one of us by now. You're reliable. See you later. Ages ago. Uh, 
Do you know where you're heading? Where? You're heading straight for Lee, our leader. Mm, you shouldn't believe everything you what do I need to do to make you let me see Lee? Nothing. This isn't the old camp. He doesn't need we. Hello. The old camp has banned me. I'd like to join you. You've done much for our camp. I can make good use of men like you. Let's keep it short. Welcome to the new camp, mercenary. Here, take some armor. Good that you're here with us. Hello. I need better armor. You'll first have to earn your armor. Apart from... Give me the heavy armor. This armor is the best piece you'll ever get inside the barrier, and believe me, it's worth the ore. Hello! What have you got planned now? Our entire defense strategy will have to be changed. That takes time. Until Lee and his people are ready, I'll join Kord's Provisional Guard. Are you planning a counterattack? Not yet, but the day will come. If ever you're looking for me, start here and walk towards the mine. I'll be on guard there. Hello? Let me pa I want to acquire magic. That wasn't very clever. But keep it to yourself. People don't need to know. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. You have to watch what you tell people. You're if you think. Probably right. I doubt that's ever a life story. Every Maybe. Time I... You're very probably right. I wouldn't like to be in his shoes, though. Some people never learn. I gave it to yourself. People don't need to know. Hang on. Keep it to yourself. People Better not go rushing into anything. As long as I'm not you involved. You have to watch what you tell people. Lie on somebody and you're in trouble. Uh, That's how it goes. Up ages ago.
Let's talk about something else instead. Let's talk People about always something talk. else instead. Maybe don't listen to all the flattery. Shouldn't believe it's obvious that they there's any trouble in every time I <laughs> There was a time when things would have gone. It was obvious that there was some trouble. You're very probably hear. right. Okay, okay! He's had enough! Did something happen? I didn't see a thing. Hang on, better not go rushing into anything. Maybe. I'd better keep out of it.
Hold on, who, who, who's talking to me? You are talking to me? How did you get into my head? You're <sighs> what? The servant of your master? You seem to be a creature from hell. <sighs> you want me to be silent? Is your master's name perhaps Zardus? Oh right, so names are not important. Okay, I'll just assume that this here is the Tower of Zardus. I have to talk to your master. <sighs> Me? Unworthy? What kind of test? <sighs> ah, I understand. Whoever wants to talk to your master must prove worthy first. Hold on, what was that? The proof? Victory over what? Victory over the elements? Stone? Ice? Fire? Here's the heart of a stone golem. <sighs> what? Right! Worthy proofs! Missing? Two are still missing? Is this heart of an ice golem the proof? <sighs> Duality? The second proof? One is still remaining? What about this heart of a fire golem? <sighs> Perfection? I'm worthy? If that's the case, I'd like to speak to your master now. Counter evidence? What kind of counter evidence? A rune? A rune for me? Well then I'll accept the rune of teleportation as a sign of worthiness. <sighs> Mortal? Who? Me? Okay, I'm on my way. Who dares to disturb me in my studies? My name is... I don't wish to know your name. It's insignificant. All that matters is that you're the first person in years to have solved my golem's riddles. Have there been any other visitors? Not many. And when they began to annoy me, I confronted them with one of my supernatural creatures. You enjoy being on your own, don't you? I was sent by Saturus. We need your help. The magicians of water plan to use their big ore mound. The ore mound is not the solution. It isn't? No. All the magicians of fire are dead. Gomez had them assassinated. That does not surprise me. Those foolish barbarian butchers in the castle, especially Gomez, were never to be trusted. Caristo and the other magicians elected their own hangman when they helped Gomez to usurp the power. The so-called Sleeper is said to be an evil arch-demon. That's what the Brotherhood in the Swamp found out. Now the Magicians of Water believe that everybody in the colony is in great danger. There is a greater danger than anyone within the barrier could possibly imagine. If the explosion of the Ore Mound doesn't avert the great danger... Forget the Ore Mound. Its power won't open the barrier. If Caristo and Saturus hadn't wasted their time fighting over foolish and vain issues throughout the past years, They'd all know what I know now. Which is? None of the twelve magicians ever stopped to wonder why the formation of the barrier got beyond their control, or why it assumed such gigantic proportions. Did you find out why that happened? Well, one thing is certain. The answer lies deep 
beneath the orc town. The orc town? Orcs are not animals, as many people think. Their culture is as old as the human culture. A few centuries ago, five orc shaman invoked a very old archdemon, which they hoped would give their clan the power to defeat their enemies. This archdemon, was it the sleeper? The orcs gave him that name much later, but I won't tell you why they did it, or why they are now terrified by the supernatural creature. Why not? I believe you could be... No. To be really sure, you'll have to perform another task. Which task? Listen carefully. The orcs have exiled one of their shaman from the town. Why have they exiled him? The dying orc warrior was no longer able to answer that question when he was interrogated by one of my demons. What does this orc shaman have to do with my task? He'll tell you the rest of the story about the sleeper. An orc shaman is hardly likely to be keen on talking to me. Do you want me to help you or do you not? Well, yes, but... Then never question my words again. Find the shaman. He's not on good terms with his brothers in the orc town. So he may listen to you before turning you into a living torch. Very comforting. Where is this exiled shaman? Go to the old citadel in the east. You can't miss it. It's on top of a high mountain, which can be seen from a distance. Can you just enter it? They call it the old citadel, but there's hardly anything left of it other than the foundation walls. It's been a ruin for many decades. I will get the answers from this shaman. My servant has already given you a teleportation ruin for the pentagram one floor below. That will make it easier for you to get back here later. I'm seeking magic knowledge. 